right, so here's the importance of taking the bark off of, uh, off of your logs if you're gonna let them sit for a while. Now, believe it or not, these have only been sitting for a couple weeks. Uh, and look at how, look at how they've aged. You know, we've got, we've got one ant, we've got two ants, you know, we've got individual ants, um, but mostly they're living in between the spaces of those logs where, you know, kind of leaves and, and other things have uh, accumulated, you know? They're not in the wood itself. Um, here, you can see these ants are actually living in the wood and uh, they're loving the moisture. Um, they are loving that intro into the uh, wood itself. Um, you know, you can see here how uh, that's all, um, that's all what those ants have excavated inside the log. This log has only been sitting on the ground for a couple months. Um, and in my yard, it's only been on the ground for two days. So, um, you know, this log is gonna be just fine. Those ants are living on the surface. It's much harder for them to burrow into the, uh, into the log. You can see over here, when the bark was still on, bugs tried. But, uh, but over here, you look at that, they are getting into that log. So take the bark off if you got a log that's gonna sit. This is a pine log. And we are 15 across. Uh, and it's a short one. 15 across and, uh, you know, we're under four foot. Um, so uh, mostly I want to get this milled so I can get it out of the way so I can bring other stuff in. I, I got some red oak logs here. I want to make some four by four posts from. I got to mill up that pine. I got that pine over there. I got just slabs everywhere. I've got a nice sugar maple over here. So I just need to start processing. I have had to tighten that chain up, I'm not kidding, every single cut, every single cut I've had to tighten it. Now I don't know what's going on.
Well, um, and you can check my math here. You know, these are even. You know, they're not slanted cuts. They're very level. Uh, equal width all the way across. Um, every single one of them. And look at the cuts, you know? This is a 404 chain. Um, so it, it, it is not quite as smooth as my 3 8 chain. Uh, but absolutely, with minimal surfacing, these are ready to go as furniture. Uh, you know, three cuts, or is that four cuts? No, that's four cuts. Four cuts, including that um, top cut there. So um, I am still getting used to the way this 888 mills. It's got an insane amount of torque. Um, I think I might consider putting a 3 8 chain on it. I think it will pull a 3 8 chain really strong. All that torque plus the added chain speed. I might put a 3 8 8 sprocket, uh, 8 tooth sprocket on it. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Um, milled up really nice. Um, I wanted to get this one done quick because I really, I, I don't like stripping bark <laughs> off pine logs. And uh, if I let that sit any longer, I mean, we'd absolutely have an ant infestation. So, you know, you look at these, uh, look at these little critters, they're all over and they bite. So anyways, um, this is a heck of a saw. Um, the big advantage that I see right away here to having this saw is I don't have to stop as often to let the saw cool down. It's really amazing how much torque the saw has. So, um, you know, this is, I'm still getting used to it, like I said, but so far, wow, I really love it for milling. You know, and maybe I haven't done exactly a great job of showing the end result of my work. Um, when I actually show the furniture that I make, that that's hard to film and make it interesting. Um, but here's, here's what I'm working on now. I need to process these, get the bark off, seal the ends, and um, maybe even break them down. Um, really nice pine. Um, th these would make just incredible legs. And I think that's what I might end up doing is cutting it off here, cutting it off here, um, and just having the most incredible, stable, beautiful pine legs. Um, when, when pine is this tight grained, it's, I, I just love it. It's really, really nice. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm milling a bunch of pine right now. There's my sugar maple log. Um, and then I got, uh, you know, these three over here. Uh, and then I've got a big old stack of pine here. Some more pine. <laughs> we just got lots of pine. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna go back to that site. Maybe I'll go back once more. Um, but I frankly have all the pine I think I can handle right now. Uh, and then these, Red oak boards here, excuse me, quarters here. I was going to quarter saw them, but holy cow, that's a lot of work. Um, for chainsaw milling, it's just a lot of work and it's hard. So I, I think I kind of have ad uh, adapted my plans and I'm gonna turn these into four by four posts, really long four by four posts. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but here's just one section of my lumber. 